I welcome you all back on History Adulan. Today, let us study constitutional design from political science 9th standard. As you all know, constitution is a book of rules and regulation as per the whole nation functions. So, what is this document? Why this document of rules and regulation is so important for a country? Do all the countries have their constitution and do they function as per the rules and the guidelines prescribed to them? So, let's see all these things in this lesson, constitutional design. To understand in detail about the constitution, let's study a case study from South Africa. South Africa is a country in the African continent which is having one of the finest constitution of the world. This country was ruled by white minority. This South Africa in which Nelson Mandela and African National Congress which was a national level organization functioning in South Africa gave a voice against the apartheid law. Now what is this apartheid law? This apartheid law was a law which was officially sanctioned passed by the whites government in Africa which used to segregate or separate the whites and blacks. Whites were treated to be superior and blacks were treated to be inferior. So this was somewhat unjust law prevail in South Africa. This was also called segregation policy. So this nation in which there was three-fourth population, they were the native, while the 25% or the one-fourth population comprised of the whites and Indian population, which was also called mixed population. This, this is the reason made this country recognized as a rainbow country. Blacks were having no right to vote same time they can't form any organization if there was an organization it's not declared as an illegal organization and because of all these factors white had full monopoly and they manipulate the governing system in south africa they had a strict inhuman and discriminatory laws in the country for example the whites had a separate bathing areas the seashores were restricted only for the whites and the blacks were not allowed to mix with the whites. Blacks and whites, they had separate bus stands, hospitals, schools, uh, living residential areas and everything. So this, this is what the whites considered themselves as superior and treated blacks as inferior. That's why this strict inhuman discriminatory laws uh, created a kind of segregation in the minds of the people. So slowly there was awakening and awareness. So there it led to the long year struggle which ended into uh, independence of South Africa. They got rid of white minority. So this event had happened, taken place in the year 1994. Nelson Mandela was one of the leader who actually revolted, rebel against the system. He wanted end, end of this apartheid law and at the end in 1994, they, their dream came in reality and thus they got the independence. After that, had taken the writing up work of the constitution. And the constitution work was completed after three years in 1997 the South African constitution came into force. They, there was a kind of fear in the minds of whites that whites failed that the majority got the government, majority got the constitution. Now they will take a revenge of the whites and they were afraid that the kind of privileges that they were enjoying, they may not able to continue. They may not uh, had their right over the property which they had. So they were uh, fear of this. But the black the native blacks were so compassionate that they forgive the white minority and with this the South African constitution inspired the democrats of the world. Thus Nelson Mandela he said constitution of South Africa speaks of both past and future and Solomon not to repeat the racist brutal repressive past. Now, the country belong to all black, white men and women. So this is what the example that is set by South Africa in front of rest of the world and how the democratic values can be inspired, can be nurtured. So this is what been told by this struggle. This example of South Africa is one of the best example to understand why every country needs an constitution. 
we know constitution is a set of rules and regulations or it is a set of uh, documents as per the whole country functions the government system all the institutions and all individual citizens they are obeying the rules that are made by the constitution so this is what the most important feature of any constitution and constitutional design does uh, have more value this safeguards the interest of an individual it gives equal opportunity for an individual to grow and improve their standard of living and status that's why this constitution is applicable to all we may say the constitutions which are there in the several countries the if the country have the constitution not necessarily they must be a democratic countries but if the countries are democratic and they are having the constitution there are more chances of country working and functioning more smoothly with the democratic values after having brief idea about the model of south african constitution let us come back and study more about making of indian constitution as we know indian constitution is one of the world's lengthiest constitution we know it consists of 470 articles 20 it is divided into 25 parts 12 schedules five appendices and this makes the indian constitution one of the lengthiest constitution besides when the constitution was completed it took almost 3 years to complete exactly 2 years 11 month and 18 days there were 300 nearly 300 members of the drafting uh, committee tirelessly working to make this constitution with dr baba saheb ambedkar as the chairperson of constituent constituent assembly's drafting committee the work of the uh, making of indian constitution was completed on 26 november 1949 and it came into force or effect on 26 january 1950 after completing there was a debate on the constitution for 114 days and in this debate there were a lot of rules and regulations which were omitted deleted and lot many were added so this is what a kind of discussion uh, made for 114 days that is also famous as uh, constitutional debate but making of indian constitution was not so easy it came across lot of hardships there were several challenges like the challenge of partition of india and pakistan in the year 1947 when india got independence india got divided independence pakistan which was a part of india split from indian province and pakistan became separate and india became separate with the independence that is the sad episode in our indian history but that was an challenge before indian constitution because with the partition there were some communal riots communal uh, harmony was in danger all the religions need to be treated equally and that was a challenge in front of indian constitution besides this there was a problem of poverty there was a problem of generating employment how the country uh, can be uh, can uh, achieve its growth mount batten who was the last viceroy of india he clearly mentioned in the india independence act that the princely states which were there in india within the indian union there were more than 550 princely states within india and they were left with the option either they can join indian union or they can join pakistan or they can remain independent within the country so that was a big problem big trouble for the nation india so sardar vallabh bhai patel played a very crucial role over here in integrating all the states so that was also a challenge integration of princely states now indian constitution that we get, got it today is said to be one of the lengthiest document of the world lengthiest constitution of the world same time it it is a ideal document for the rest of the world why and it is quite interesting to know this making a constitution was not only started in 1946 and ended in 1949 that is the last part but its work had already started in the year 1928 and that time the father of jawarlal nehru motilal nehru and other eight members did the framework of indian constitution after that in 1931 in the karachi session of indian national congress there again the demand was placed forward for the constitution work so karachi session they demanded for universal adult franchise for indian 
what is that universal adult franchise all the adult citizen of the country who are eligible for voting right irrespective of caste creed gender race and all these factors they all have the right to vote there should not be any discrimination this voting right should be given to everybody so that is what universal adult franchise even this demanded the protection of minority minority in india sc st obc women so this class even the muslims the christians of india they are the minority so all these minorities must be given some protection and the right to freedom in the year 1937 there were provincial elections but these provincial elections were not all democratic that's why indians did not had faith and belief in this uh, system of election and same time there was government act of 1935 and there were some ideas some good ideas which were adopted in the indian constitution such so we call this uh, as a internal factor or internal parameter uh, where we have adopted indian constitution the leader the maker of indian constitution they adopted some ideals of this government act of 1935 the very first is the federal state federal state this is uh, the government at the two stages the federal that is union level and the state level so this type of government system dual set of government that has what been encouraged even the direct elections that has again asked to implement and some of the service commissions service commissions should be set up in india for the smooth functioning so that are some of the factors that were taken from the india act of 1935 we know that there were so many revolutions that had taken place in the world for example the french revolution uh, revolution american war of independence american revolution socialist revolution in russia even uh, britain they uh, were following so beautiful structure of a parliamentary form of government uh, and even other countries so indian who were the educated revolutionaries and reformers they failed this all good things the good values the good principles of the west or from the other countries they should be implemented in indian constitution that's why we also most of the time we call indian constitution is a bag of borrowings because we have borrowed lot many things from the other countries so what are those things that we borrowed from the other countries for example from england we have taken parliamentary government and rule of laws so this is what the value and the ideals that are taken from england parliamentary government and rule of law secondly from us we have taken fundamental rights each citizen of india is having fundamental rights they are their basic rights and that is the value taken from us united states of america same time the judiciary system judicial review this is again taken by from america the supreme court and the other courts that are functioning that is a system a very ideal system taken from america we know ussr presently we call it russia fundamental rights and fundamental duties fundamental rights are our rights for which we are fighting and fundamental duties are our responsibilities towards the nation as we have the rights same time we need to dispatch our duties all the time it is not that indian citizens must go on taking the facilities it is our responsibility to dispatch our responsibility towards the nation so that are the duties which we got it from ussr and canada federalism as we have discuss about federalism that federalism uh, is a dual set of government one we have the two type of government one at the central level union government and second we are having at the state level so that is what the federalism the concept we have adopted from canada france it is a world famous liberty equality and fraternity these concepts were adopted from french revolution ireland we have taken dpsp directive principles of state policy actually this directive principle of state policy uh, they are nothing but aims at uh, welfare of an individual and a society social economic welfare so that is what the dpsp this is taken from the ireland and germany in the times of emergency fundamental rights can be suspended so th these are the several ideals that were borrowed from other countries of the world now let us come to the another part guiding values and that is the preamble of the constitution preamble what is preamble it is uh, the introduction 
to the whole constitution or it, we, it, we can say it is a zest or the summary of the constitution. In this preamble, the first words of the preamble begins with we, we the people of India. Why it is only beginning with we? Because we there is a feeling of unity, there is a feeling of integrity and it is a everyone, it belongs to everyone. That's why we, the careful fully words are used over here, we. We the people of India solemnly uh, adopt several values and if you list the highlighted words from this uh, preamble, then that will come to nine. So there are nine folded values in the Indian constitution, sovereignty, the, the nation is sovereign, the socialist, secular, democratic, republic, justice, equality, uh, freedom and fraternity. So let's see one by one. What is this sovereignty? Sovereignty, the meaning of the sovereign means supreme. Who are the supreme in the country? We, people, the citizen of the country are sovereign. That it, we have the first, very first feature of in the preamble or in the constitution that people are sovereign. You and me is the sovereign, we have the power in our hand. Second is the socialist. Socialist, we have a socialist or the equal approach towards the citizen of country. The people who are poor, their standard of living has to be improved and at the same time, we shouldn't make any kind of differentiation, distinction between the rich and poor. So that is what the second value tells us. The third value is the democratic. Democratic, we know democratic is again a rule of the people in which the political rights are given to the individual. So that is a democratic. Fifth value we have is a republic. Republic says that there is a system of election franchise and through this system of election we choose our leader and the leader of the state is not hereditary like to those of the monarchs. We change the ruler after a regular interval of time that is called a tenure of that particular person in India. We change the government after every five years. If the government performance is well, then government will come in power. If no, then they have to go back uh, and sit in the opposition maybe. Next we have is a justice. Justice as we know for rich and poor, the justice is equal for everyone. So that is the justice. Next we have the liberty. Liberty means a freedom. What kind of freedom? Freedom of speech, thought, expression, movement, all freedom. That is most important every person. Like how the oxygen is important, the food is important for all of us. Like this freedom is required for all of, all of us. But equality is the another factor where all are treated equal irrespective of their caste, creed, gender, no discrimination. So that is what the equality and last is the fraternity. This fraternity concept is taken from here South Africa. This con we are uh, inspired from the South African constitution for the concept of a fraternity. So what is fraternity? In simple words, it's nothing but the brotherhood. And what is that brotherhood? If you recall the pledge, Indian pledge that we say in the assembly that India is my country, all Indians are my brothers and si sisters. Here all Indians are my brothers and sisters. We are treating whole India as a family and the citizens in this country are my brothers and sisters. So this is what the family bonding that we are talking about by giving this very uh, ideal called fraternity. So these are the values that are guiding the Indian constitution and we call it preamble. Major contributors of Indian constitution. Dr. Rajendra Prasad, President of Constituent Assembly, first President of Free India and he led Champaran Satyagraha. Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who is famous as Iron Man of India. He contributed in Bardoli Satyagraha, unification of princely states. He was first Deputy Prime Minister and Home Minister of Free India. Abdul Kalam Azad, he opposed separatist policy of Islam State, first Education Minister. T.T. Krishnamacharya, member of Drafting Committee and Finance Minister during first cabinet. Jaipal Singh, who was a captain of first national hockey team and founder of Adivasi Mahasangha. S.C. Mukherjee, 
वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ ड्राफ्टिंग कमिटी दुर्गाबाई देशमुख वर्क फॉर वुमन इमेंसिपेशन एंड अपलिफ्टमेंट शी वॉज अ फाउंडर ऑफ आंध्र महिला सभा बलदेव सिंह डिफेंस मिनिस्टर फाउंडर ऑफ पैंथिक अकाली पार्टी कन्हैया लाल मुंशी फाउंडर ऑफ स्वतंत्रता पार्टी डॉक्टर बी आर आंबेडकर फादर ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन चेयरपर्सन ऑफ ड्राफ्टिंग कमिटी लॉ मिनिस्टर वर्क फॉर अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ अनटचेबल्स बट ही हैड अ डिफरेंसेस ऑफ ओपिनियन विद गांधीन पॉलिसीज एस पी मुखर्जी फाउंडर प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ भारतीय जनसंघ हिंदू महासभा जवाहरलाल नेहरू फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया he said in his speech at the stroke of the midnight hour when the whole world sleeps india would arise to life and freedom sarojini naidu led satyagraha in 1930 famous as salt satyagraha she was known as night angel of india this title was given to her by mahatma gandhi and Ravindranath Tagore gave her a title Bharat Kokira Somnath Lahiri who was a leader of CPI Communist Party of India This is all about our lesson constitutional design we learn the case study of South Africa then we discuss in detail about the making of Indian constitution about uh, different contributors of Indian constitution and how the constitution came into force and what are its ideals what are its guiding principles so this is in brief we learn about this lesson history i do learn is your very own personal youtube channel where you can when we can go through all the lessons that are been uploaded so far free of cost so i request you all don't forget to subscribe this channel in order to get all the regular notifications and all the videos that are uploaded on this channel thank you very much and take care goodbye